Okay, this, this last one. <laughs> Things can get so weird, and you don't even have to try. This last one's called Walk Fast, Whistle. Walk fast, whistle, cock your ears and listen, hold your line, hold your own, wind the window down, tap the beat on the wheel, look up, greet, touch a hand and feel, float a thought to the rafters and smile at strangers and do not diet, don't be quiet, eat tomato sauce, do not hold back a tear, drink beer, do not drink and drive, talk less about yourself, talk less, mess up, apologize, eat pie, humble pie, open your eyes, look inside your friends and ask them how they are, take a trip around the darkest bends together, tracking the trail of the wandering star, to as far as the road goes, and the ship would sail, and the story slows, it hits a sandbank, and the phosphorescence in the water glows, and grows a blanket of silence in which you can be wrapped. Sometimes be quiet for an hour, sit in the felt and observe, if not ants, birds, if not birds, then bats, if not bats, then buck, pick up pretty stones and twisted roots, seed pods and mice skulls, carry them home, arrange them on the sill, then trace their outlines against the days of life, lemonade, cold, tea, slowly, coffee with a rusk, Write with a pen on paper, purchase pencils, postcards to distant friends, travel alone, travel far, travel to the point where you swivel on your heel and remember where you come from, who you are and why you came. Phone your parents, phone your siblings, phone your school friends, phone your sick friends, phone your friends with children. Sometimes switch off your phone for a week. Do not check email, do not use a computer. Sleep for 12 hours, three days in a row until your dreams return and read a thick book, a 1,000 page book, a book with difficult words in it, a book with an open ending, Roberto Bolaño's book. Walk around the house in your underpants or naked without drawing the curtains. Do push-ups, run when the wind blows strongly. Lean into it and open your arms like an albatross bird. Fart, shit, pee outside and especially next to highways. Wipe your bum with something other than toilet paper. Buy the newspaper even if you don't read it. Support the idea of a poem. Write poems, bad or good, hidden or shown. Purchase binoculars, study birds. Investigate trees, consider different types of grass. Stop by a road cutting and look at the layers of rock. Picnic, own a thermos, wrap sandwiches in foil, eat peanut butter from the jar, drop it like it's hot, drink Coca-Cola when it's hot, drool on your pillow, dance, laugh, cry, cut the shit, the dislike money, donate money, spend money, earn money, look after money, but dislike money, do something you like if it's an office job, remember who's the boss and who's in charge and that you're the latter, swim in the sea or in a river or a farm dam, hold your breath for a long time, open your eyes eyes underwater, float on your back, close your eyes, close your eyes, listen to the sound in your ears, the slow, dark, deathly croak of your brittle bodies, cooked and cracked organs and bones, and then slowly paddle back to where you can stand and look at the person waiting there and walk over and kiss her. Another round of applause for Stephen Tim. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Let's go have a drink downstairs. Thank you very much to the Alexander Bar for uh, tonight. We really had a good time and we hope to be back. Thank you, Chris. Cheers, y'all.